Hello, Paul Robinson from uh, WorkwearCanada.com, BushcraftCanada.com. Um, lots of new lines at the moment, so I'm doing lots of these little tabletop videos just to show you the new lines as they come in. And um, of course, I've done a video on these before. This is the um, Chris Kane uh, survival tool. Uh, this is the new companion. This is the co new compact version, actually. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you a comparison. This is the original one. <clears throat> it's a very um, popular larger size parang, and um, this is the uh, Makata one. But it, he, I know that he was asked a lot for a uh, more compact version. This is the one he's come out with. This is the Companion. So the Companion is obviously a pretty much uh, identical, yeah, pretty, pretty identical um, copy of the original one. I'm just thinking actually the choil here has been extended. Um, it's still 5 mil thick uh, carbon steel. This one here, let me just quickly measure this for you. This is uh, almost 8 inch blade. And overall length is uh, about 13 and a half. So it's uh, Makata handle, like I say, 5 mil thick carbon steel. Scandi grind with a little uh, micro bevel. And of course, again, the idea behind it is that you have pretty much one tool that will do everything. Uh, you can use this as a knife, you know, you've got the chore layer, so you can use it for close work. It obviously has that chopping potential, quite a good amount of leverage. And also you can use it in two-hand applications as well. So it's a bit of, you know, an all-round survival tool, uh, knife, you know, wood splitter, a uh, bit of everything. Very good um, design. I know the uh, survival tools have been very popular and uh, I'm sure this compact one will be as well. Because the other thing they've done is they've upgraded the, the sheath and they've done a really nice job at these. Uh, this is the it's a leather dangler style. You can see it's well made, this is you know quality saddlery leather, well stitched, uh, lots of rivets, uh, you know, nice big uh, brass hardware, uh, nicely finished. And um, they've also added on um, two pieces here for the which carry an army sized fire still, and this one here, which is the um, sharpening rod, it comes in a little case, a little brass case, and you can use that to uh, sharpen the blade on. So, uh, you know, it's a very good overall package. Uh, you get a nice quality sheath, nice useful tool, all in one. Very good. Uh, like I say, the companion I think is bound to be, uh, you know, a popular, popular knife. You know, the uh, the larger survival tools were, but some people said, you know, they're just a bit big. You know, and some people were looking for a smaller, more compact version. And um, you know, this is this is it. All made in England, in Sheffield, and um, like I say, very good quality, nicely made, very solid tool, um, nice compact size, and a nice sheath. So this is the deluxe version. I think you can get the. Um, uh, you can just buy the knife with a cordura sheath, or you can buy it with a leather sheath without the, uh, you know, the fire steel and the, the sharpening pouches. So you know there are different options there for you. But um, just thought I'd quickly show you that. And again, you can just see it in comparison with the with the larger tool. Oh, look at this! Oh, there we are. Give you some idea of the blades sizes. Um, but I've uh, just had those in. They're all numbered as well. This is uh, number 78. Um, and uh, like I said, I think it's going to be a very popular item for Chris. He's a great guy and uh, really knows his stuff. And he's put a lot of time in developing these. And uh, you know, he's come up with a real good quality item. So if you're looking for that, you know, all-in-one purpose tool, a larger knife, you know, you should have a look at these companions. Uh, they're very good. If you need more information about them, of course, you can just give me an email, paul at uh, bushcraftcanada.com.